Hello and welcome to the 13th episode of the Oberry Podcast and today we're doing a special podcast. It's a special because it's we're hyping up going to TwitchCon Berlin and I'm here today together with two amazing, fantastic, lovely streamers and I have, for example, Yoi. Hello. Hi. Hi, and also Yohoi is a Norwegian streamer. She does uh, a little bit of variety on her channel. I know she is into cards, like reading cards a little bit. Also into MMOs a lot, playing with friends and such. She'll tell you more about it in a second, probably. Uh, and then, uh, right here, back at the Oberry Podcast for the second time. It's the first time anyone has re <coughs> lived and returned to the podcast. Janami! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and that's his iconic <laughs> laughter. And you'll hear more of it very <laughs> shortly. And I love it. Janami is a ball of happiness and sun power that he's radiating through his pores and shining onto his viewers. It's a lot of positivity. That sounds weird, but it's really good. It feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> to be in Janami's stream because it's just good vibes. A lot of uh, you got you playing playing games, but also have a big focus on mental health. Uh, you know, supporting people, helping people to feel good and feeling well. Uh, hi, welcome, Janami. That is very right. Thank you very much. It's yeah. a pleasure being here. Yes, I'm so excited. Uh, yes. Uh, Feel free to host this stream, guys, if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just what I did. I saw like other people. Yes, like, All right, perfect. I'm okay, that's... And I was like, when? <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who are listening, we are live on Twitch. If you're listening and you, you this is like on a podcast or YouTube, just know that we are live and there's going to happen things live here. Maybe we'll... You know, anything can happen when you're live on Twitch. That's the thing. You know, Janami, he might undress again. Or, that, or like, Juhoi might try to drink water, like, but pour it on her face. I, I mean, there's just, it's just so many <laughs> things that could go wrong. What t-shirt concert when? Contest? <laughs> but we're going to try our best to create, like, to create a, a good, solid, professional with like really emphasizing the professional because we're pros and welcome everyone we are <laughs> do you have any comments no <clears throat> we we're got we here today because oh, the three of us are going to twitchcon berlin for the first time because there has never been a twitchcon in Europe before it's the first time so it's a it's a big thing for streamers in Europe in general but it's even a bigger thing for us hopefully maybe uh, I think we're a little bit more excited than maybe some I don't know we're gonna bring you guys on this journey and we're starting here talking about it talking about our expectations uh, why we're going how we ended up going with who are we going wh and what do we think is going to happen there and also when we actually, when we are actually there, you, we're gonna live stream and share it with you guys. I, I assume. I don't know about you guys. We're gonna talk about that too. But yeah, where do we even start? Okay, I, okay, it's your turn now, guys. <laughs> Take over. <laughs> I'm gonna. Right, what do we do? Yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'll I'll start with just asking you a question. So, um, when did you guys decide? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Freaking rude! <laughs> no, just no, no very. Don't no. no. I'm oh, sorry. Boy. I'm sorry. Keep continuing. I was. Continue. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm just. Uh, I'm just uh, being highly professional again. Yeah. Here. When did you guys decide that you want to go to TwitchCon Berlin? And like, how did you decide? What was the process for you guys to to decide? So, Yohoi, ladies first. Um. Well, I actually got a DM from another Norwegian streamer friend of mine called This Is Mineta, and she was like, TwitchCon Berlin is out. Um, I booked it a Airbnb. Let's go. And so I hadn't even heard that TwitchCon Berlin was happening. And then I was like, oh, you know what? Heck it. Let's go. So I, uh, that, that's kind of ha how it happened. Nice. Nice. Short and sweet. You were kind of pulled along. Like someone else was like, you know, knew all about it. And like, you're coming too. 
Yeah, well, it was like the minute it was announced on on the Twitter that she just messaged me like, hey, you know, this is happening. Let's go. Um, and we looked out on the the Airbnb and we checked out. And like, okay, I decided like, okay, let's go. Like, it's it's gonna be fun. Gotta test it out, and gotta support in it. And traveling with other people was great too. But I didn't order like the ticket until like way later, like the plane ticket. But the hotel was booked kind of on the day. And uh, the TwitchCon ticket? When did you get that? On the same day too of release? Oh yeah, like yeah. I uh, I had a little uh, what does he call it like a notification thing on the TwitchCon Twitter so that I would be notified yeah. whenever they posted anything so that the minute that they posted the, twi- uh, the tickets were out I bought a whole weekend pass. Yeah, because I remember being so like kind of a little bit nervous that it would sell out really fast, yeah. which it didn't at all, right? It's like it's been I feel like it took quite some time or no? Yes. <clears throat> like well, there I are, know. like I think after a few days, there were no more community tickets for non-streamers. <clears throat> um, so the, these these did sell quite well. Yeah, and I think they also sold out on the weekend tickets, so they're only like separate, like either Sunday yeah. or Saturday. Okay, yeah, exactly. Tickets. Cool, but we got tickets. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything else? So. Do you live far away from the um, venue, Yohoi? Like, will you stay oh, far like away? The... Well, we're staying at a hotel, which is 13 minute to walk. Oh, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's good. Much better than when I was in San Jose. <laughs> Janum is like, sh- sh- oh, really? I was like, he's staying in Switzerland. He's like, the closest he got. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually further away than I am now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an interesting choice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, yeah, Janami, tell us about how you like how the process was for you, like deciding and how what happened when you decided to go and getting tickets and booking stuff. Can I be very honest here, very real? Y- no. <laughs> yes, of course you can. Go. <laughs> I had no say. In I did not decide. <laughs> it was decided for me. Although I'm very happy about it, don't get me wrong, no. Yeah, <laughs> it was actually, okay. It was actually decided for me. Um, what? It was a Christmas present from my friends who all together um, brought me the, the tickets. The, the, um, they already booked a hotel. Um, and so that was at a point of time where the, the actual tickets for TwitchCon were not even out just yet. We just had the announcement and I was like, oh, this sounds so cool. That would be amazing. I could meet all these amazing friends, these amazing people I've met here on Twitch and actually meet them in real life. How cool would that be? Oh, um, wow. See what kind of glory Thor's beard is in real life and yeah. such things. <laughs> and um, so I, I, was, I was really thinking about it if I want to, if I not, do I have the money? Don't, do I not? Um, and then on Christmas Eve, I unpacked my stuff and it was actually, what I actually got was a book for yoga. All right. <laughs> yoga. Neat. Yes. For yoga. Like, uh, how to implement yoga in your daily life and to live a better and more happy life. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Uh, that, that, that's, that's kind of cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, I do yoga, so I I was happy about it. It was just like okay, I did not expect that. Um, but upon opening it, it was like <sighs> tickets and a little gift card and such uh, fell out. Aww. Yeah, my friends gifted it to me. Oh, that's what a so cool adorable. surprise! That's such a great surprise. Oh man, that's right? Christmas. Uh, right, that was amazing. And you wouldn't you been... you wouldn't have gone unless someone got it for you, or? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I I really don't know. Like I, I probably would have gotten there anyway. Um but that was it was it was such a beautiful kind of thing to do f- from my friends. Um It yeah. was just all sealed and we're all set and done by then. How many are you traveling with? He's counting his fingers for those who are listening. Okay, wow. Five, six, no, what? Wait. Nine, ten, twenty-five? No, wait, that must be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I do have twenty-five fingers. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> On one hand, guys. <laughs> you should. You have to five watch. Five. Five. It's a uh, five. I knew that. Right. <clears throat> Dang. 
<laughs> there are people in the chat like five it's five <laughs> uh and you you did you, did you i know you, you mentioned your friend is there anyone else going um well um we're actually taking the train or uh, the same plane to there both me and my friend um and then we're staying with an, a third person again at the hotel okay cool so it's, or, it's... maybe three people but i'll be meeting a lot of other people from the community and whatnot, but yeah, traveling and staying, it'll be three of us. Nice. So, um, I'm traveling together with two of my moderators, which I find pretty, like, it's just the way it turned out. And then another friend, another uh, streamer, Spook Squid, uh, a friend and oh, a streamer really? of mine, she's coming. Janami, you oh. know her? Uh, Yohoya, you not... No, I yeah, don't. No. Um, she's a squid and a streamer. And it's amazing. Not a... Nice. Uh, okay. She's Actual a person. Name is <laughs> spaghetti, spectastic, the spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Nice. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. All right. And uh, I think it was one of my moderators, um, Dr. Newt, who was the first person to really like... But because and that was funny because he lives in Chicago. So for him to suggest, let's go to TwitchCon Berlin... <laughs> and Dr. Newt is... <laughs> he's also a streamer, of course he is. <laughs> um, and it was really like, whoa, you you really... Are you really willing to go from Chicago... All the way from Chicago and like go to TwitchCon Berlin together with us? I, I, to me, that was just, wow, cool. Yeah, and then... a long way. And then, and then two other friends of mine from the community uh just jumped on it as well and we all the four of us were really excited and then we hyped it up before the ticket release and we prepared and we're like oh we're gonna have to stay up the whole night now when the tickets release and we if we uh, and stuff like that we stayed up a little bit we because we were we have dr newt in in, in the us we could cover a lot of time zones so <laughs> we got it covered and we were on top of that and is, of course we got tickets because we were fanatics and uh, and then we yeah we had we were pretty we we kind of noticed that a lot of hotels and such were booking up fast were you stressed out about getting accommodation guys no was... i bet my friends were but i no <laughs> okay well, yeah that's really nice. all okay cool well that's nice well, we got it sorted and we got a nice place. It's not uh, kind of close to the venue as well. So that's kind of how we went. Uh, okay, guys, w uh, what are you most excited about? D like about TwitchCon Berlin? Well, what do you look forward to most? What do you want to do? What do you want to experience? What like, w what? Yeah, you mentioned yeah, many there's so many things. Okay, just what? Yeah, it's the same question. Many different shapes and forms. Which one would you like to answer? <laughs> but what do you look forward to the most at TwitchCon? Uh, you want to go first? Sure. Um, well, of course, like the most convention is meeting the people. Really, like the uh, and the unexpected things that can happen there. Like last time when I went to my ever first TwitchCon, which was in San Jose. I traveled alone, I stayed alone, um, but I knew a few people who were going to be there. And I was, of course, like a little bit nervous about it, but it ended up being really, really great. I met a ton of people, like I hadn't really scheduled a lot of meetings, but while I was there, I found like a lot of people that I wanted to meet, you know, like industry people and whatnot. And I actually ended up having breakfast like every morning before the convention with Pika Punch. Uh, just like casually like okay hey like, we're messing each other on instagram story i see both of us are awake hey you want to grab some breakfast right now like yeah sure let's go Aww. and all just happening spontaneously <laughs> nice so, all those little things and moments and and people you're going to meet both planned and unplanned is kind of what i'm looking forward to that was kind of a big step to take to go alone isn't it i feel like it is well i mean i've I've never been afraid to travel um but it was my second time traveling alone um, and the first time I traveled alone, alone wasn't really a great trip, so, but it had been on like a few years between them, so I had like a different mindset. Cool. So it was good. Yeah. So you've already been to a TwitchCon. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. I mean, so I have expectations. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're a veteran. Oh my god. Veteran, Teach us everything. <laughs> Well, to? I have a question about that. Like, so do you feel like that has it, like effect the inf Did you benefit from going to TwitchCon as a streamer, and how? Or oh, yeah. how? Oh, but, uh, definitely because like I went there and and I really planned out. I looked at a bunch of like different articles and tips and other people streamers like getting like okay, going to a convention for the first time. What do you need to have? So I looked. I was very active on Twitter, like looking for things to happen, and I actually found a really really amazing. Uh, what is called like Twitter moment of a person who had collected every single like opportunity in a way. Uh, so they had collected uh, different industry people being like, hey, I'll be here if you want to book a meeting with me. Oh. You can do so here. Uh, here's the different parties that are going to happen. And yeah, like they collected it all into like a tw Twitter moment thing. So I could just go through like, oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Oh. This is interesting. So I got to meet with a lot of uh, different industry people and some that even, you know, we still have really great relationships. Um, and the weirdest one was that uh, <clears throat> I was meeting and I've been, I've been texting and meeting uh, with this guy who was a PR in Ubisoft. And we finally got to meet. There was some like a little bit of, you know, as it goes at conventions where yeah. time travels away from you and then just, um, but we finally be able to meet up. That so it, <laughs> it sounded like, romantic almost. I but that was like, but that's the way, was it? <laughs> So, was uh, a romantic meetup uh, you know as it goes else. you go to twitchcon and, you know yeah you meet people, what happens at twitchcon it's... stays at twitchcon oh my god anyways i'm looking at you <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> okay we okay become an asmr stream i'm not ready no <laughs> So you got to meet, um, okay, so you got to meet up with a lot of uh, uh, yeah, business and it was weird because related. Then, you know, they were reacting like I was starstruck to kind of meet him who was working at a really cool firm and whatnot. Yeah. But then he was like, hey, can I take a picture with you? I'm like, what? <laughs> you want to, with me? And he's like, yeah, you were like super awesome. I'm really excited to meet you. And I was like, wait, you're starstruck with me? <laughs> so that was one of the weirdest Aww. things. That's so nice. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's really cool. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Thank you for sharing about that. That's really interesting. Cool. But do you think uh, TwitchCon in Europe is going to be a lot different from a TwitchCon in, in to what you went to? Oh yeah, definitely. I think there's going to be uh, a lot smaller, mm. um, and I think there's going to be less things to do, less planned, more chaos. Haha, <laughs> fun times. <laughs> they're going to be playing some, <laughs> studying something like all on a different side of the continent. They're not going to have the same um, like delivery systems. They're not going to have the same people, uh, so like uh, sponsors and people who deliver equipment and teams and whatnot. Not, they're not going to be the same. It's just going to be so, worse. <laughs> That's what you well, it sounds like. It's going to be interesting, is in my opinion. So like, I I don't come in there having high expectations. I'm expecting like a, a low amount of like what do you call it like sponsor desks or whatever mm, what are where those have, like when i mean where they um you have different businesses who have a stand oh right you know right like i'm expecting like less of those yeah i don't think there's going to be a creator hall Um, there's probably going to be like generally like fewer number in anything because i think they're really like this is the first time so right. they're testing it out they're seeing like okay we can do it there's still people coming in so that they have the numbers to show to the brass or other sponsors or whatever in the future. So like, hey, this is an event. It is actually relevant here in Europe as well. Give us more money. Give us a bigger venue. Yada, yada. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Testing the waters. See what is TwitchCon yeah. in Europe? What can it be? This is like, it makes sense not, you know, going all in, going more and beyond what they already done before. It's a new territory. And also that, yeah, it's a new market kind of. Uh, for TwitchCon, so that makes sense. Also lowering our expectations a little bit, which is probably <laughs> not a terrible thing as well. <laughs> yeah, but I still think it's gonna be great though. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. That's nice to hear. Yeah, I I know. Like otherwise, I mean, you you wouldn't go if you didn't you know want to experience it. Um, did what was the like we were talking about like what the best what we're looking forward to at TwitchCon, but somehow you, we, we talked about like you going to the US, TwitchCon in US, and then we talked about the differences and a little bit. But Janame, you haven't answered that question yet, have you? 
<laughs> Sorry. No, that's awesome. That's great. That was a great. That was a great side. I love that insight. A great like, side quest. Someone, especially from someone who already was at a Twitch con, like not at any convention, but especially in particular a Twitch con mm. um, overseas. Yeah. And um, so that that was. Thank you very much for the insight. I have no clue, to be honest, what to expect. Um. Mm. Like, Same. how is it gonna look like? What is gonna be offered? What people is gonna be uh, are gonna be there? How many people are gonna be there? Who are you meeting? How will be the atmosphere? Is it gonna be more of a, yeah, we all just here for the passion that we have, or is it gonna be a lot of yeah, industry guys, a lot of business? Everyone is be like, oh yeah, let's network <laughs> and such. <laughs> and so I, to be honest, I hope it's. <clears throat> Not so much the latter, the, the latter. I really, 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 really want to meet the people. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and like, I want to, for example, I want to meet you or Barry and I want to hug you. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I want to meet you all and I want to say hello. And of course, hug you too, if that is fine for you. <laughs> yeah. We had we had a we had a um, last stream with a conversation about like hugs and personal space. Yeah. Oh, that very stuff. smart. <laughs> no, I'm a huge hugger. I'm very physical. Okay, hugs for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is what what I'm personally really looking forward to meeting the people, talking with them, having a conversation. It is always mm. something very very different meeting them on stream. Streaming yeah. has this very very um, weird relation between the streamer and the chat where the streamer is there um perhaps either playing game or having a show like right now the podcast um, but we are visible usually right all of us we have webcams we are visible uh, everyone can hear us we talk we talk a lot and oftentimes about many different topics at once and um that is the one side well the other side is the chat with mm. people that are pretty much pretty much anonymous unless you already got to know them a little bit more um but ever, anyone could come in there and just just talk with you and they only have the ability to to write like all we can say from that person is the name and vice versa when yeah. we are entering another person's uh, stream and chat we are just a name and so i'm super super excited to kind of put your hands on people <laughs> Yeah, elevate the interaction. <laughs> <laughs> elevate the interaction. You, <laughs> you, are you going to avoid Janami or want to get close to him at TwitchCon? It's hard to tell. <laughs> and he will hug you. I know what I want. I will, not, I, will, I will not. I respect. I respect the privacy. I, I respect the preference. <laughs> and then you see, then you see Janami <laughs> jumping at people. <laughs> like, <how are> <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah. I I think I'm excited exactly this for the same reasons as you are, Janami. I I hear like I feel the same way. Uh, there are some really cool people that I've been wanting to meet for a long time, and which is the first time that I get to meet them. Um, streamers, uh, and I think most of streamers because it it is kind of catered to streamers. But there's also yeah. people that are not streamers that are going, which is amazing. I know. Um, yeah, and, and both is awesome, uh, and it's really cool. Well, with the streamers, you kind of have a different connection because you've been maybe been following them for a while. You've seen them online, maybe interacted with them. You have a face. You have a person that is like gonna bring their physical body to this event, where you're also gonna bring your physical body, and then they bodies can meet. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so, <that's> so weird. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. But I'm okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> your voice is like, please no. Right. The, okay, do I have to meet your physical body? Can I just like no, non-physical body? Is that enough for you? I mean, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> what am I freaking looking? If you want to, if you want to. Oh bear, please. Oh, what are you doing there? What are you doing? But, but your hoy. <laughs> uh, I was. I was okay, but. So this is this streamer that is also so much. Do you have you followed the Twitch Sings competition? Do you know who's? Yeah. Do you know who's going to the finals in Berlin? Do you have any relation to them, like connections to them? Yeah. Uh, who Brian do you B. know? Bright. Oh, Brian B. Bright. How do you know him? Yes. He's so awesome. Well, um, oh my he God. He is. He's amazing. I think. 
Um, I don't know if I was in a raid or I raided him. I know I think I raided him because we were doing Twitch things spontaneously as we do and then I wanted to raid somebody else who was also uh, singing so I found him we raided him uh we asked him to do Disney he freaking nailed oh, it yeah. and we all fell in love yeah even the lesbians in chant yes um so and um, <laughs> ever since and I've even done like a few duos with him and absolutely oh. butchered the video <laughs> so yeah can relate <laughs> I, I vote for him because you know he's freaking amazing and an adorable Okay, yeah, he's amazing. Uh, Brian B. Bright, if you want to check him out. So, if you don't know, there's uh, Twitch Things is a karaoke game, and they, they've done like um, semifinals and stuff uh, online, and now the finalists uh, are like shipped, not shipped, they're flo fly flown, fl they're, you know, they're thrown they're, out they're, of the window. They, <laughs> they put them on airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> in the cargo hold and there are s <laughs> cargo hold as well and the uh, eight of them or something but they're going to berlin and they're going to compete in the finals <laughs> is it going to be do you guys know if it's going to be it's going to be live on a stage with music i, I suspect so yeah i'm sorry janami whatever happened i don't know you dropped something <laughs> yeah but yeah and it's uh Spoon or Renske is bringing up a really good point, though, that the people from the EU were not able to enter the competition. Oh, what? I don't even know yeah. about... No, wait. No, there's a finalist from the from Germany. Well, there were, like, certain countries. I think it was, like, Germany or some other, but there were a lot of EU countries that weren't allowed. I think it was US, oh. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and then, like, Germany and a few selected European oh, countries. Oh, rigged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Germany, UK. Okay, I get yeah. it. That makes sense because there was mostly Americans and it was kind of like, uh, yeah, I know we commented on it. I, Sweden couldn't enter. I couldn't enter. I'm personally I mean, I offended. Really I'm just kidding. Enter. Yeah, I really wanted to enter just for the fun of it. Um, yeah. yeah. Couldn't. Um, I Mermaid Unicorn. I followed her stream for a long time. She's one of the finalists that are going to Berlin. And it's so cool because I, I started following her when she just started out. And now one year later, she's like crushing it. And she's like this big streamer now for me. Uh, and she's coming over. So I'm, I get to see her as well. Like stuff like that. It's like, it's like magical. Um, yeah. And uh, uh, yeah. Uh, small break. Hello and welcome everyone. If you're just tuning in, I'm Barry and I'm hosting a podcast and today we're talking about TwitchCon Berlin and I'm here with two friends that are also going. So uh, welcome and uh, have a... What, what? Yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> welcome. Smooth. Smooth sailing <laughs> half the way. <laughs> What was the girl you were talking about again? The, the something magical unicorn? Uh, mermaid, mermaid unicorn. Mermaid unicorn. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. What, what is the next step in this? Uh, what, what should we talk about next? Like, um, like yeah. <laughs> Janami is just going to casually drink from his teacup. And, and that's... <laughs> Jan Janami! <laughs> there we go. Hmm. <laughs> It's laughing and entertaining. Mess it up again. That's Arthur. what you do. No, it is perfect. Um, <laughs> there's, there's sh sh so much, should be so much more to talk about. Like the actual event, what is going to be there? Have you guys looked at the schedule and the program? Did you have you find found anything that you want to attend, or do you what events? Do you know any events that you want to go to? Um, Janame. There's the creator camp, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's happening. Um, yeah. So that is something that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of cautiously excited about. Yeah, I have, as I said, I have no clue what exactly to expect. I've seen a few um, videos from the equivalent from the US um, of the uh, creator camp. So I'm looking forward what they're going to do there, what they have to offer, um, like from, from just from a, from a streamer standpoint, I like to learn and I like to visit these kind of, um, uh, things and, um, get some input. Yeah. Did you watch the, the VODs from the latest WitchCon EU where you, with the creator camp 
panels? Oh, it's been so long, and I, I, I can't tell you whether that was the last one or the one before that. Okay, because I, I think I, I saw somewhere on Twitter, I think, that they're pretty much recycling the creator cams from last TwitchCon. Okay. And also, I went to one, and it was, um, I think it was titled something to do, like, how to um, grow your channel offline. Okay. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Very fascinating. Like, oh, we're talking about using social media, other platforms and whatnot. And of course, no. It was basically a tutorial on how to use highlighter. Oh. Like, the hi yeah, the highlighter thing. And oof. it was like, it was big oofs because, oof. again, <laughs> I don't want to come here, spend 30 minutes, sacrifice 30 minutes or an hour for another panel that I could have gone to where... You know, basically, I'm sitting in for tutorial, so yeah. I am not going to go to any oh. other camps. Oh, okay, okay. Personally. I would personally recommend like going to panels where there are people you want to meet because right. afterwards you can say hi to them, and they're a lot more inclined to say hi to you after you've been sitting and listening to them in the, on the panel. Right. Ah. You have something and to start a conversation with. Bots. Oh yeah, bots yeah. too. Yeah, just connecting with the people that are uh, they are hosting the seminars. And, and talking to them and learning from them maybe just making friends yeah with people but i'm also interested in the seminars i have some hopes to learn something from these seminars <laughs> i yeah. can't like i'm a learner i love learning and and you know just you know growing as a person and as a streamer so if there's any input i can get from there but of course like you take time that you could spend on other things and how do you prioritize your time when you have like two days and then yeah. it, it's kind of short time if you want to do everything, it's impossible. So what mm. will you guys prioritize during... Oh, wait, wait, did you wait, did you answer the question, Juhoi? Did you get a chance to answer it as well? Like what, what did... Was the, the, the question was like, what will you Schedule do? Have you like plans. scheduled oh, yeah. anything, any events, any seminars or anything? Well, you told us about the seminars, but so, but anything else that you are going to? Well, yeah, you know, as I said previously, I'm not really going to prioritize the creator cams. I'm more so going to go for if there's anything like the people I want to meet are on the panels. I haven't really looked at the schedule. Last time I looked at the schedule and I freaking put every event I wanted to do in my calendar, my, my phone calendar, so I would get an alert every time it was soon going on. And then as the, uh, the convention happened, I just went to fewer and fewer and just disregarded it. So I think I'm just going to wing it a little bit more this time yeah. around. Um, and um, I'm going to a few events on uh, Friday. Me and this is Mirette, we're hosting like a joint community dinner, like a meetup Ooh. thing. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's going to be the first, like, more professional one. Whereas, like, last time we were just met at a place. Janami, let's do that. Yeah, <laughs> we should do, do something it. like so that. Much fun. So much okay, fun. Okay, you cooking. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah. So, on, so, on, so that's happening on a Friday mm -hmm. before like the event or anything is happening. Uh -huh. And then we're going out for drinks after. And then on this Saturday, there's a Tiltify event. They haven't said when exactly, but that Tiltify has some sort of party. And what is Tiltify um, for those who, those who don't know? Oh, right. Um, good Lord. I don't know exactly what I can say there, but like a software or a service or something where you can, which is home to streamers so that you can uh, do like stream and people can donate to charity through Tiltify. Right. Cool. Yeah. A um, fundraiser organization. Yeah. Hmm. Intact they're not the organization. The community, intact with your community <laughs> for the causes you are passionate about. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag <Yeah>. not sponsored. <laughs> nice. Okay. And then on the Sunday, I'm joining like a, a music community meetup thing. Right. Uh, this is... Which I, yeah, which is gonna be fun. And hopefully, luckily this time around, I'm gonna be more like on the at the parties because last time I was riddled with a jet <clears throat> lag, so I didn't go to any of the parties late oh. night. But I woke up at five a.m. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're gonna, yeah, you're not gonna have to deal with jet lag. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I don't know, but it shouldn't be too bad going from Norway to Berlin. <laughs> oh my I mean, god, I'm so jet lagged. 
take care of myself. I also no, I don't yeah. have an excuse anymore when I'm socially exhausted. Yeah, <laughs> gosh darn it. Um, oh. I also the I also saw that music event on Sunday evening with just a bunch of music streamers, but also just anyone who enjoys music streams in general can you know um, can go and sign up to go to that. Uh, so that's that's kind of interesting. I'm like like uh, everything is so new to me. Everything is so uh, exotic. Like oh, they're gonna have. Uh, a Logitech stand? Oh wow! No, no not that level. But like, yeah, to, me, like <laughs> to me, it's like everything about this is so exciting. So I don't really know. I don't know. I haven't planned exactly what to attend, what to do. The most important thing is like to meet the people and like to sit down and like yeah. have good interactions with people and time for people that I meet, and then <laughs> attending some seminars and hopefully just have a good time and and. It's going to be a good time. Uh, I was just imagining like the oh, there is a Logitech stand and running in and hugging. <laughs> I'm gonna find the Logitech stand Whee! and send a picture to you, Obera. Oh. Like, oh my god, they're here! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, I have... Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah. I have a question actually. <laughs> yeah. May I? Yeah, go. Like, we, we, we've been we've been uh, talking about what we've got planned and then what we are really excited about. But you are, you mentioned actually something, and I was. I was thinking of that. that is actually an interesting topic um, that I'm curious about um, because as much as I'm really, really excited and hyped, um, as much as I am having very positive um, expectations, I am also nervous. I am genuinely nervous and a little bit like anxious as to mm. being there. There's going to be so many people. There's going to be so many just completely people I've never met ever before. Um, so do you have something where you are kind of nervous about maybe not looking forward to? <sighs> mm. Mm. I mean, I'm always nervous of not using my time wisely. You know, oh, like okay. Wrongly prioritizing and oh. then like kind of wasting my time because there's so little of it. There's like so many people I want to meet and I'm always nervous of regretting. Oh, yeah. Um, and it hit sight. I should have done. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then again, yeah, why did I make this? Did <laughs> didn't even like him. Jesus. <laughs> didn't even like the haircut. <laughs> oh God. The exactly. Anxieties. Basically, a portrait of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I, I guess it's kind of that. You know, I'm not really. It didn't like, even last time. me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Last time I was nervous, of course, of like not being social enough or like being alone it was like oh, a thing yeah. where everything was going to be awesome, but I wouldn't have a good time because I would just be alone and it would just be like, ah. um, but I, I ended up having a really great time because going alone as well was just kind of really amazing, mm. like not without any headphones or anything because people talk to you. They are very open like i was standing in line people were just like hey you know what you're doing here it also helped that i like i did one day where i was cosplaying so that naturally people want to talk to you ah nice um, that's great opener for conversation oh yeah definitely but it was really great like there's it takes so little for people to open up to you at twitchcon that's the lovely part yeah Ooh. you know just have one singer and then you can have a lovely conversation with people ah, yeah. ah. see Jeremy, ah. it's not gonna be so bad <laughs> Maybe for you, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people, yeah, it can be overwhelming for sure. Um, I, but I love, I love meeting people. I love talking to new people. <laughs> I love interacting with new people. Like, um, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna st be stoked about it. Um, yeah. Well, did it was did I was I supposed to answer that question? Did I answer that question? Yeah, I don't sure, know. Answer it. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Anything you're uh, nervous about? Nervous about? Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm excited about so many things. I haven't thought about. <laughs> there hasn't been any other, like, <laughs> hasn't been <laughs> That's good. space. That's good. Focus on what you're nervous about. I don't even. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like. I mean, even even if it, it's not going to be, you know, everything is not going to fall into place and be perfect. 
but it, I'm, I'm, I already know that. And I, I just, it's the first time I go to TwitchCon, so I can just learn and, uh, and try to have a good time. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm too hyped to, to be nervous about anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Focus on that. Ner nervous feelings don't get you anywhere. I'm going to be nervous <laughs> closer. Like when I, I think I'm going to get a little bit nervous, you know, like what, uh, just, you know, getting there and like, oh, will I actually be able to, you know, n get to know anyone, like network at any capacity? Or will I just be like, will it just be like meeting friends, but not actually growing? Uh, will it not benefit me as a streamer? I think I want to find things like to benefit the stream in some way. Like I also looking for that. I might be a little bit nervous that I won't find s anything <laughs> for, for, I don't know, like uh, it could be connections, people or learning stuff like that, that I will miss out on that stuff. So I guess there's a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I get know. That. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, when it comes to like the whole, everyone's like afraid of networking and whatnot. And, um, you know, the people who are there, the representatives of the different companies and other streamers and whatnot, they they meet so many people already. They just want to be treated like a regular human. Yeah. In a way. So, um, and I think <laughs> yeah, that's what resonated. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, me too. Uh, no. Gonna run Everyone at them, hug <laughs> them. <laughs> Do it. And I mean, I think like, that's also like, because so they can really sense if they're coming there, but like, oh, so you work for Corsair, huh? Yeah. I really like what you're doing. No. So sponsorship win. As, <clears throat> no, uh, that's, yeah, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, it sounds bad. Yeah. No, when I, yeah, when I think about networking, I, I, I approach it not at all. Like making friends is how I, like, I think of it as making friends. And that's, yeah. that usually, yeah. And then, you know, if it doesn't lead to anything, business stuff it's it's so okay and if it's not yeah it doesn't matter, really matter because you and haven't also knowing that you can't be friends with everyone exactly and that's fine hmm. ikea if you hear this i need sponsorship now <laughs> <laughs> why ikea <laughs> yeah. what? they're not coming to twitchcon berlin what is this? Oh, okay. No, I'm just... they're, they're sponsoring everything, of course. Yeah. <laughs> they are so hosting. That's, why, like, that's what's happening on, on the Saturday. It's actually we're building up the TwitchCon. Oh. Furniture and chairs and tables. Yeah. It's just... It's a... tradition, you didn't know. Oh, no. It's amazing. Okay. I have another question. Mm -hmm. um, how much will you guys be live streaming? Because your communities are counting on you to take you on this journey. And share it with you guys. How will you share it with your community? Uh, Yuhoi, you go first this time. Sorry, I uh, that Yeah, no, it's okay. You were you were you were replying to chat. How will you share TwitchCon Berlin with your viewers? Uh, your community? Oh, right. Um well luckily like a few of them will be there already, so we'll share it with experience and whatnot. But I might try and, and vlog it. Um I'm not really good at vlogging. I've done it maybe like three times yeah um, and but but i'm doing baby steps i did vlog during like twitchcon san jose it was really crap yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> i forgot i forgot to film the b-rolls i forgot to film while i was there because i was having so much fun oh, i yeah. forgot to film while it was happening because i'm not used to it so i always filmed and talked about it in hindsight but then it ended up being like weird because it just ended up being a vlog with me talking and then nothing else to look at um oh, okay so and yeah and as suit says uh, i posted on instagram stories because i'm very active on instagram yeah. stories so so that is going to be my vlogging in a sense cool but yeah, i think i'll try with a, a vlog if you want to see what yohoi is up to at twitchcon berlin 2019 go check out her instagram um <laughs> and stories in that weekend uh janame how will you share twitchcon berlin with your community. Uh, sorry, I spaced, I, no, I didn't space out. No, you heard it twice, so three <laughs> times now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you forgive it. I was just kidding. Um, I will probably not stream anything of that. Um, with so many people <clears> in one yeah. spot and <clears> very well aware of the German capacities of internet. <sighs> okay. I have a plan. I have a backup. I have mo mobile data. Yes. No. 
<laughs> oh, okay, okay, guys. I was planning um, on no, screen. But what I'm, what I'm definitely looking forward to is making, taking pictures, um, just like your Hoy uh, Instagram stories. Right. Kind of rediscovered that one for me. Um, there was, there, there will definitely be a vlog. Um, I've done one in the past with when my mods slash friends came over. Oh yeah. But there's something that I'm I need to watch that one. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I like that video. I just dance a lot. Um, I I was planning on live streaming. <laughs> I was planning on you know grabbing myself a steak, get out there and like do a couple like two or three hours like at least once like during the weekend. Do you have the internet for that? I mean, Germany has internet for that for it. <laughs> That's what I'm in plan. But no, and then yeah, I have enough data. Like I have enough data. I don't have a big like. Um, I, I collect my data. I don't use it. So I save up data. So I like, like saved up like 10 gigabytes or something uh, that I can just spend on streaming. But, but 10 gigabyte and two hours streaming does not go well. No, well, I tried it before. And like, it's... Uh, yeah. it, well, okay. You okay, guys? It's but, okay. Mean, it's bit not rate. enough. Bit How? Rate, okay. So, well, resolution Depends. bit rate. What about like a lower bit rate, a lower resolution? It yeah. will be super crappy. 160p. <laughs> I will stream. Okay, wow. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you, it's though. This is good. Battery. This is really good. <laughs> yeah. I need to hear yeah. this. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. I live in a weird. Okay. I always. Oh, um, well. I, right. I, I do some research. I know there's. Uh, I've done I'm, streaming from my phone before, well. and it's like I. It, that should be enough for a few hours, 10 uh, in mean, my world, but okay. I'm gonna be, do some research I'm, on it. Like I know there's different uh, Twitter uh, Reddit threads that actually calculate how much like you would need for a certain amount of time. Um, so yeah, definitely do that. And of course, like I've, I've never done it on mobile, uh, mobile data. I've always like used the Wi-Fi. Like I actually did a live stream. Monks reminded me that I did a li live stream on the airport when I was traveling back. Um, so I used the airport Wi-Fi. Um, which yeah. works. So yeah, finding a place where where there is free Wi-Fi where you can use that, yeah. I think would be recommended. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, Barry, I think it would be really, really cool if you would be able to live stream it. Like seriously, uh, I think that would be cool. I think your community would totally love that being oh, yeah. able to participate. Yeah. But if there is a way, do it. Yeah, I will. Do it. Do the research. See if there is a possibility. Maybe you know the bit rate of such. Like I'm gonna be very honest. I have no clue about mobile streaming, streaming with your with your phone. Um, so I'm definitely not the one to ask. Um, the only like kind of issue I have is, from my experience, if there's a large group of people, yeah. like a convention, yeah, in Germany, um, the internet does not take it very well. <laughs> yeah. uh, like the mobile internet, no, it just it just doesn't. Um, no. So, yeah, the, it, I mean, there it's was good. Some, it's good. Uh, <laughs> it's a... good. That I'm like, yeah, Maybe more you're prepared. Able to, like, outside, outside the uh, outside the area from your hotel or such. You're able yeah, to yeah. It, uh, maybe as you enter the area, um, but as soon as you are there, and there's going to be many people. And in case, for example, all of them are using mobile data, you might be just awful. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Someone is pointing out the Gamescom internet, and yeah, I was I was thinking about that. Like I was at Gamescom in the past, and the internet is just super super poopy. Ouch. Oh, what? Okay. Thousand. Oof. One mega. What, what, what's it? How do you say that? One megabit? Kilobits per second. Yeah. A thousand kilobits at 30 FPS would roughly translate to 7.5 to 12 megabytes per minute, if I am correct. So then we still have to do some math, which we're not going to do right now, probably. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, Yohoi, were you saying something else? You were starting something, uh, saying something. I don't know if it was uh, starting a new topic oh, yeah. or a question. No, it's just uh, about like I was um, when I was standing in line for the loot loot cave, like you know where you could buy merchandise and whatnot. Um, oh. I yeah, do that early by the way because they run out. Oh, that, like, I was so excited time. about the 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 the, the thingy uh, merch. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very cool. I won't be able to spend any money on that this time around, though, because I spent uh, way too much last time. <laughs> um, yeah, and I have no money. 
Um, so, but yeah, no, there was somebody who was live streaming there and then, uh, they, they seemed to do fine, but I watched back the VOD and it was like really low quality and yeah. was skipping a lot yeah. of time, but you know, then, then, well then it's better. If that's the case, like I, I'm gonna, I'll try to record some footage and like make a vlog. If I can't I stream at fun. good quality, yeah. Or do both, test it out, see yeah. what happens, you know, just go out, have fun with it. I'm just gonna... I mean, just imagine that scenario, I know it's very unlikely. But just imagine, like, everyone is there, everyone is like, oh, the internet is going to be poopy anyway. Ah, there's no way we're going to use that, there's no way we're going to be able, so no one is actually um, taking advantage of it, and you're the only one. Like, yeah, that sounds <clears throat> likely. <laughs> I'm the only one using the Wi-Fi, like, the dedicated like, <laughs> at the event. Um, sure. Awesome. Um, okay, so... Uh, let's start to go towards the end of the podcast here we it's already been one hour guys it's crazy that's so crazy fast. holy my moly goodness. we can take some questions from the chat guys do you have any questions for us and uh, my guests here we have janami place come on guys there is a and Juhoi. these are some big names throw some questions <laughs> throw some <laughs> throw some questions at them well yeah and um yeah exactly will we meet at twitchcon yes, yes! <laughs> who are you <laughs> what <laughs> I mean, i'm a very busy person please put a schedule like, call my assistant it will be fine elua wendy is an amazing streamer from holland variety Whoa. streamer holland netherlands i swear to netherlands. you the freaking dutch people are taking over twitch right they are, they are everywhere <laughs> and viewers they're like every every freaking twitch chat I need them everywhere. Oh, oh! I got stroop. I got stroop waffles right oh, over there. Oh, really? Right over there. You got you guys. You, you Dutch people have the, the greatest sweets in the world. Oh my God. I'm stroop excited waffles. for those. No. Um, I will not bring Petra. No, thank you. Okay, Jana, who are you most excited to meet at TwitchCon? Me. Uh. Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> me. Uh, you, Barry, you're you're actually asking me to rank i people. know it's a terrible you're question really, you're evil this you're is evil. E evie, evie rose <laughs> evie rose is evil she was the one asking and it's impossible i'm most excited to meet my the the friends that i made if, on twitch and like and you guys and friends that i made just the people that i kind of already connected with before and meeting them at twitchcon but yeah it's an impossible I question i can't tell you who i'm most excited about like i am just genuinely a hundred percent stoked and excited to meet my friends the one that i the, the people that i know I'm, I'm i'm spending time with um that's what i'm super super excited about that's the first and the second is i am just genuinely looking forward to meeting new people yeah new people and Yay. i focus on, 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 on <laughs> new people in oberry i'm just counting you as quote unquote new people i've never met you in real life so right like everyone, everyone falls under that category. I'm just excited to meet the people. Cool. So, Janame, will you protect Dr. Newt against, uh, from me? Will you protect Newt from me? Uh, again, yeah, what? Is that how you no, ask? You're always question? safe with me. You're always safe. Always safe. Oh, welcome to the ASMR stream. Oh, guys. <laughs> this is... You'll be new people. Hello, new people. I'm also new people for you. So that's perfect. We got and, so much in common. Oh, I'm so sorry, Eloa Wendy. It's from Belgium, not Holland. Yeah, I saw uh, that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Belgian waffles, though, still. All oh, right. Well, yeah. She said we won't be able to meet you then, Robert. You will be dead. <gasps> <laughs> Why? Fight the Belgians. Oh, man. <laughs> I've been looking forward to Um, Let's see. Uh, let's see. Who of your viewers are you most fa are your most favorite to meet Saint Dirk? <laughs> this one is just for you, Yohoi. It's your question. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is no. So mean. That is so mean. I mean, as, as I said, I answered it very nicely. I would be very excited to meet my most favorite number one viewer, my mother, my mum. <laughs> Who actually has never opened my Twitch stream, but you know, I just know she's viewing <laughs> over <see>. my shoulder. <laughs> That's Aww. amazing. That was such a mean question turned so wholesome. I yeah. love that. Okay, love we don't. That's my trick. Oh. <laughs> nice. 
Um, let's see. We don't have any more questions. Uh, I think we are going to wrap this up. But if you're in the uh, Twitch chat right now, we'll still be here after I say goodbye to the podcast. So if, if I don't know, you guys have to leave soon too, but there might be some chance for you to just have another question or interact a little bit with them before they leave. But for now, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Thank you guys. Thank you, Janami and Yohoi. Thank you. It was a pleasure and honor. (laughs) And um, I'll see you guys next time and have a great time and stay positive. Uh, Bye-bye. Bye-bye.